Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing great today. I wanted to share this quick video with you guys on how I pop my aloes. I know it should be self-explanatory, but these are a bit tricky. Um, they have these straggly little roots. And um, so how do you pot them? They don't have a, a root ball where you could just prop it in the soil and fill around it. So I wanted to share with you guys what I do. I just go ahead and fill my pot about three quarters. And um, I usually leave the, the dirt that it came with and mix it in with my new potting soil. And uh, yeah, I just start feeling one side. I tilt it to one side and just come feel as much as I can on one side. And this way you don't have to worry about it getting dirty from this side because it's tilted over. And then once you're done there, you tilt it. Just make sure that it's as centered as it can be. And then just go ahead and shield it with your hand so that uh, the dirt doesn't get in the crevices because that's a pain in the booty. Um, you can use a brush and a blower, uh, but yeah, best is not to get it in there. And yeah, just go ahead and completely fill around it. Compact it with your hands once you're almost at the point. And I usually like to leave about an inch or half an inch from the rim where I fill it because I like putting top dressing, uh, some rock in there, and also um, I've done it where I've overfilled my pots and when you water it, it just makes a mess. The water just spills out with soil and yeah, you don't want to go through that. So there's a, a reason for leaving at least, at least an inch, I would say, uh, around the rim. So once you fill it up as much as you, you want, just go ahead and pat it down gently with your hands. Make sure you um, compact the soil as much as you can and straighten out your plant. And again, I use um, just, uh, I make a combination of soils. I don't do anything special. I do use a cactus soil as a base and then I put a little bit of garden soil. And, um, and then the soil that it comes with, if I see that it's a good soil, it has plenty of perlite, I, I'll, I'll mix that in too. But here you go, I'm putting um, the top dressing. And again, I prefer these bigger rocks because it gives the plant some room to grow. And I feel the, the soil um, gets enough air where you don't have issues, that many issues with mealybug or, or um, fungus or anything like that. So. Yeah, but this is a beautiful, beautiful aloe. I've had my eye on this one. I have said, you know, if it's at the store next time, I'll buy it, and it's not. So I will always kick myself in the booty and say, geez, when I see it next time. And this time I saw it, and I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to not do it. Here my cameraman is blowing on it, and here you see it all planted. It's beautiful. This one is um, dear to my heart and I love it, and how could I not buy it? I mean, I've been an artist for many years, a painter, and I've reproduced many Van Gogh paintings, um, and I've actually reproduced the Starry Night several times, and this plant is called Starry Night. I'm thinking because of the little spots that it has on, um, on the um, petals, and um, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous aloe. And here you're seeing, um, a picture of one of the Starry Night paintings that I've reproduced in the past. And as you can see, see those little specks in the sky? I would imagine that's why they named it Starry Night. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to all the new subscribers. I will talk to you guys later.